So yeah, I was born and raised in Minnesota. Uh, grew up in Elk River. It's a suburb on the northwest side of the Twin Cities. Um, uh, grew up in a great family. My mom's Catholic, my dad's not. Uh, but a very, very loving family, great environment to grow up in. And really, you know, though I, I wouldn't have been thinking about it from a super young age, um, the call to the priesthood, uh, or at least openness to a call to the priesthood, was something that started from a very young age, just because of the environment that I was raised in. Um, we uh, went to Mass every Sunday went to a Catholic elementary school. We didn't have a Catholic high school around, so I went to a public high school. But still with a good group of friends, good group of, of people who were all involved in the church, and so I was doing that from a, from a very young age. I went to college at the University of St. Thomas in St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, my older brother, actually, who was four years older than me, had entered seminary right out of high school. And so, when I went to college at the same place, the University of St. Thomas, where he, where he went to uh, minor seminary, um, started to meet some of the same people that he had known there. I became a Catholic studies major, and uh, I took a class there that had a very profound impact on me, uh, the search for happiness. It was kind of a classic uh, course started by the Center for Catholic Studies at the University of St. Thomas. And it was there that I, I feel like I really first encountered um, uh, the depths of Catholicism and I really started to get excited about and interested in, in a very new, deep way, my relationship with Jesus. And that's where stuff really uh, started going in terms of the, the call to the priesthood. Um, so I started thinking about the priesthood. Uh, since my older brother, though, was in seminary, um, Frankly, early on, that was kind of an easy out. Uh, you know, God already kind of took one from the family, so I felt safe at that point. Um, and so I would think about the priesthood, but then I was like, I also knew many very holy laymen, and so, um, so I, I kind of just kept avoiding it. All throughout college, I was thinking about it. I didn't date anyone because I was kind of on this cusp. I was like, well, I think maybe God is calling me to the priesthood, so I shouldn't date anyone so that if he really wants me, he can call me. But then I wouldn't enter seminary either, so I was just kind of trapped in this in-between world. So I graduated from the University of St. Thomas and again was kind of confronted with a moment of decision. Uh, do I enter seminary now? Well, I still didn't, you know, see the clear vision in the sky that I was hoping to see from, from Jesus saying, yes, I want you in seminary. So um, I had also been very interested in teaching. So I was thinking about teaching. I, I applied to some schools to teach in the Twin Cities, uh, but then for various reasons decided not to do that. And so um, I was just working for a little while in the Twin Cities when um, a professor of mine at the University of St. Thomas who had a deep impact on me, uh, who's good friends with Monsignor Shea here in the Diocese of, of Bismarck, told me that there was an opportunity to work for him out at the University of Mary. I came out to Bismarck, I checked it out, and I really liked what I saw. You know, so much of what had impacted me so deeply at St. Thomas, I saw also up at the University of Mary. So I was like, great, get to work for a priest, continue discerning the priesthood, and also work uh, closely with Catholic education, which is something that had had a big impact on me, so I really wanted to contribute to. I, I lived and worked out here for three years, two years for Monsignor Shea up at the University of Mary, and then for one year I came down to St. Mary's High School and I got to teach religion there. Both of them were excellent experiences, great jobs, working with great people, and at St. Mary's just loved the students at St. Mary's High School. And it was in the midst of those experiences and in the midst of this world here that I started to um, I started to be able to ask this question of vocation a little bit differently. Formerly, I, I realized I really wanted to know definitively, is this what Jesus wants? I wanted a degree of control over the situation, um, which Jesus doesn't let you have, which is a good thing. <laughs> and so, um, it was while I was out here in conversations especially, uh, with Monsignor Shea and with, with others, with Monsignor Richter and Father Waltz at St. At Mary's High School, that I came to um, 
to really see, I need to be able to just trust Jesus. I, re I remember having a, a conversation with Monsignor Shea once talking about all the paths I've taken throughout life and things. And, uh, um, but, and thinking about seminary, but never, never making the jump into seminary. And he said, well, Gregory, you can't, you can't discern in a vacuum. You, you have to do something. You have to pray. You ask Jesus, what is it that you want me to do? And then, uh, and then you act. Then you make a decision and you move. And, and Jesus will tell you in the midst of that whether or not it's what he wanted you to do. Because he loves you. And he doesn't want you to see you, you know, go in the wrong direction. And so if you're honestly trying to follow him, you need to say, Jesus, I think this is what you want me to do, and then do it. And so it was then, you know, just a matter of time before, um, really before Jesus finally caught up with me as my, as my spirit, I think, started to be a little more open. And it really happened, you know, it, it wasn't a, a thunder and lightning uh, moment or anything, but I remember I was at a, a talk by Monsignor Richter at uh, Jerome Richter's house for the young adults. Uh, it was January of 2013, so this had all kind of been piling up. And I wasn't really expecting anything momentous or anything. I was just, I was a teacher. I was probably thinking about my lesson plan for the next day in class. And um, uh, Monsignor Richter's talk was on desire, of all things. And something he was saying just moved me deeply. Uh, talking about how if Jesus wants you to do something, he will give you the desire to do it. And it just, it sort of hit me. And I sort of realized, I want to be a priest. And in times past where, where I had thought about the priesthood and right away my mind jumped to the things I'd be losing. Like, oh shoot, you can't get married. You can't have kids. You can't uh, live in the world in, in the same way. This time, that didn't come to my mind. It was simply, I think God has given this to me.